The Fresno Area Hispanic Foundation provides assistance to small businesses, whether they're looking to start or expand. We provide different resources, so we provide what we call technical assistance. We provide that one-on-one -on -one guidance when it comes to developing their business plan. We provide different educational workshops, just bringing a lot of different tools and resources to small business owners so that we can help them advance and become self-sufficient. So Access Plus Capital is a community development financial institution. What that really means is our purpose is to support small businesses get access to capital and resources in underserved communities. The Lowell Community Development Corporation works in the Lowell neighborhood in downtown Fresno and through the Pro Neighborhoods Collaborative we've been able to um, expand our work from working with residents in the neighborhood to now working with the businesses who um, reside in our neighborhood as part of the bigger ecosystem of our neighborhood. The importance of the Pro Neighborhoods program is really uh, an opportunity for us to really think about and be intentional about how we support small businesses and economic development in Central California, in Fresno. There has been a long deficit of access to capital and the resources for small businesses and the coordination of resources and helping small businesses to grow. And so what Pro Neighborhoods really did was to create a marriage between those that are providing lending, those organizations that are working in community, all for the purposes of making sure businesses have the support that they need to be able to expand their operations. Participating in the Pro Neighborhoods Collaborative um, was very important because we were able to uh, go to these partners when it came to assisting the small businesses, particularly with the COVID relief grant program. You know, we knew that we can contact each other when it came to uh, identifying different resources that were available. It was nice to be able to contact our partners so that we can all be on the same page, we can all be informed of what every organization is doing when it came to the educational workshops, when it came to the relief grant programs, that, you know, there's different challenges with helping small businesses already, even before COVID. Now that we were confronting this new challenge, I think it was easier for us to be able to maintain that communication and that connection so that we can continue helping the small businesses together. Through Pro Neighborhoods this year, we received $25,000 to go towards the rehab of this commercial space. And um, that like is so pivotal because we were able to purchase the property fine, but then in order to access any more funding for the property, we would need site plans, we would need environmental studies, we need a survey done, we need the hazardous materials surveys done. And so all of that pre-development work was not funded. And so through the Pro Neighborhoods grant, we were able to fund that work that's actually gonna be able to just really propel us into some wonderful site plans for the, for the property. So we're not only just expanding the commercial space and rehabbing a commercial space and bringing that back to life, but we'll actually be increasing the residential and affordable housing stock in the neighborhood as well at the same time. Collaboratives like this are very important because it helps us as an organization uh, build a stronger support system for the small business community. And we know that we can't do this by ourselves. We know that we are only going to make a greater impact if we work together. We've learned a lot through participating with the Pro Collaborative. Um, we've learned a lot more about um, our small businesses in our area, what they're, what they're, what they're doing, how they're serving Fresno, um, what their needs are, and then we've also learned on the funding side as to what's available for our small businesses and then how we can really kind of bridge those gaps, how we can help hook up a small business with a lender. One of the important parts about this collaborative and you know the partnership with Central Valley Community Foundation and J.P. Morgan Chase is that they challenged us uh, to go beyond our normal envelope. Uh, they said, okay, what can you do more? How can you be more flexible? And to be able to have uh, financial resources that enables us to think differently is a game changer. In most cases, we're told, okay, you have to be in this box. And it's exactly this box in many cases that we're trying to break out of to support small businesses. They have not traditionally fit in those boxes. Uh, and so when we have uh, funding, investing supporters that allow us to take risk, 
then we have the opportunity and the space to have that same level of latitude with our businesses. So that's really important. And when we're asked, okay, what, what could an investor or someone do that really will enable us to move the needle? It's given us that flexibility to be us. Allow us to be a CDFI. Allow us to support small businesses. And this funding through Pro Neighborhoods has, has done exactly that. This collaborative um, has accomplished a lot of great things, and I think that you know we're only going to continue to to do a greater impact. And so I am very thankful to be able to be part of of this collaborative, and I look forward to continue working with all of our partners. Yeah.